Looking at the screen, actually, this game really reminds me of like a Walking Dead Telltale game, you know? So, anyway, let me give you a very brief description as to what this game is. This is very straightforward. It's like one line. I'm going to spit it out to you, and you're going to be like, I get it, all right? So here it is. Audios. What this game is, is you are a simple farmer. You're living on your land, raising your cutie pigs. You're having a grandiose time, laughs and gaffs, slipping in the mud. The, the pigs are oinking. You're, you're smiling. It's a great time, right? Amazing. Here's the thing. The mafia gets involved with your life. You end up taking a deal to where the mafia pays you a ton of money, but in exchange, you have to feed human body parts to your piggies. So that's been going on for like a couple of years, I guess. And uh, now we're finally like, you know what? Fuck this shit. And uh, that's where it is. That's where we start. Let's do it. This is probably relatable to somebody. <laughs> Dude, when I play games, it's even, again, even just Doki Doki Exit music, I had, like, four people in my chat go, like, Dude, this is literally the same thing is happening in my life. I'm like, you have a girlfriend that's been getting abused for 10 years, and you abducted her before she turned 18, and you're hiding her in your house for a month? The four of you are doing that right now? Anyway... <laughs> Tell him I'm done. Understood. Hello, Alu. Hmm. I can't do this anymore. What? This. What, mornings? No. All of this. You mean the deal? Afraid so. What do you mean? You, you need better pay? Different hours? No, nothing like that. I'm just... You know done with this uh uh-huh okay you wanna suck each other's dicks <laughs> uh okay i assume he's like hey you want to go through the the same old rigmarole we normally do anyway and then we'll be like yeah sure let's do it and then you know throughout our time of hanging out maybe he'll like convince us or just murder us in the end sorry did i just reveal the whole plot of the game um we can walk around we don't even have to answer this man's questions. But apparently I'm stuck in quicksand. Dude, stop gating me off, bro. Yo, we're going. Oh my god, we're riding the fine line? Okay. Can't go further than that. It's kind of weird. The game, like, stops your movement speed by, like, 99%, but you can continue walking. Why am I trying to glitch this game? This, this is not what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Why do I... Oh. Jesus. I guess he's asking me if I want to throw up. <laughs> Never mind. He, he, he does want to do the exact same rigmarole. He wants me to pick up fucking human body parts and give it to the pigs right now. Uh, no? No. Suit yourself. So, you, uh, you're done, huh? Yep. You do understand what that means, right? I die? What an arm? What a toss? Why underhand? Um... I mean, does it mean anything? I think we got to hit this guy with some power roll action. Let's play dumb. Does it have to mean anything? It doesn't work like that. You know that. Man, I must be getting forgetful of my old age. Uh-huh. Nothing I can do to change your mind. You know, listen. I always paint myself as a very open-minded individual. Let's let's give this man an honest to goodness try. Now yeah, you are welcome to try. Hmm. Well, let's go get some coffee. Talk things over. Come on. Like maybe they're only killing people that have like stage four cancer. Which totally makes mm -hmm. it fine, you know? <laughs> Smells delicious as always. <laughs> ah, Sadie was the real cook. Hey, don't sell yourself short. Not much that's better than your home-cooked eggs. Hope you don't mind. I left out the bell pepper. Oh, it's literally actually my favorite Can't part. Stand him. 
Dude, bell peppers, I don't know what it is. I guess I just like the texture of them. Why do Why do you normally like bell peppers? Because they, they don't have that much flavor. If you like saute them, they do. Then then they really, it brings out some flavor flavor. But I don't know. Anyway. Sadie likes peppers. Dude, did they murder my fucking wife? Sadie always liked peppers, though, so I put up with them. Not to change the subject, but how long have we been doing this for, you think? Mm. Fifteen years, just about. Jesus. Ah. Summer of 78. Oh, the good old Why days. Need... What was it? Needed the scratch. What did you need the scratch for again? Wasn't too popular with the folks back home. Had to make ends meet. And Bill needed surgery you couldn't afford. Yes. Well, here's what I remember. I had a problem that night, and... Jimmy was trying to help me solve that problem when who should come in through that door but you? Jimmy was always bragging about connections back home. I thought he could help. Uh, Jimmy knew we could help each other, so he called up Tony. We agreed. Made a deal. We all agreed. Ugh. Anyone ever tell you you're no good at making coffee? Yeah, I like that gourmet shit. Speaking of, those uh, <clears throat> dead things in the garage? Every time you visit. Thought you'd have got it better by now. Well, Sadie made the coffee. I made the bacon. Uh, it's good bacon. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I thought pigs were all pink with curly tails. Yorkshires are. Mine are red waddle. American breed. Not a lot of them out there, you know. That's so. Mm-hmm. Always thought it'd be nice, you know, to raise pigs that was different. I had some Yorkies way back. Must have been, I don't know, before the service. Long time ago. Yeah, I'm an old man. <laughs> you and me both. So why the Waddles? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Funny name. <laughs> like I said, American breed. Nearly went extinct. Thought I'd do my part to keep them alive. And it tastes good. You aren't wrong. You know, the other day, I was reading the paper. Look at you, an intellectual. <sighs> it, maybe. Maybe. Anyways, I read that pigs were as smart as us. You believe that? Well, then the pigs are murderers, dude. Why are they eating humans? It's fucked up. Mm, not particularly. Yeah, cows, I get. Cows are dumb. They're afraid of those, uh... Uh, you know, those metal bars in the ground. Cattle grid. Cattle grids, huh? Yep. Well, my point is, cows are dumb. Pigs, I read, are smart. And you, uh, you read that in the paper. I did. Mm-hmm. Do you think the pigs know? Know what? Except their food. Oh, pigs don't think like that. How do you know? Because I know pigs. Are pigs ain't like that? us. Well, sure, they're smart. They eat, they sleep, but they do not plan. They don't think about the future. And I suppose you do? Every man does. I think I'm just about finished up here. What do you say I, um... What do you say I accompany you today? I guess these responses are pretty much the same anyway. What, help out with the farm chores? Shovel manure, milk goats, stuff like that? Sure. Always wanted to know how to milk goats. This guy looks exactly okay like with Nye with my first. hair and hairline. What about your sidekick? Protege. If you just combine retire, me and Nye together, it is this guy. Dealing with. Good guy. Smart. Discreet. Mm, ambitious. Like you, I guess. But, uh, listen... I told you already. I'm quitting. We'll see. He thinks he's running it. Free roam? What's going on here? Oh my god, he's fucking accompanying me. He's just gonna watch me do my daily farm duties today? Oh, we got sandboxes.
Stop, bro. Am I stupid? What is going on here? Oh, I guess I probably have to make my way around the gate, huh? Let's do this instead, then. Huh. I've always wondered what was in this shack. Dead bodies. I figured it was just some old shack at first, but every time I asked what was in there, you haven't been forthcoming. I have not, no. Tried to take a look in the window once. <laughs> Did you now? I mean, why would I pull the cord on something running right now? Got a light? Ta-da! <laughs> Beautiful, right? Hot <laughs> machines. Here I figured you had a deep, dark secret. <laughs> we have a deep, dark secret. This here is one of my hobbies. What, collecting them? Well, sure, I collect them, I guess, but that's not really the point. Is there a point to any hobby? Uh, depends. What I meant was that it's no fun to just collect them. I, I fix them up. That's where the real fun is. Mm, makes sense. You know, I do kind of wish that, like, the nice-looking anime figures, you kind of had to build, like, a Gundam, you know? I wish there was more of that for, like, anime girls. Because, yeah, I think having, like, an activity along with something like that does make it a lot more fun. I guess I'd probably waste a lot more money on that shit then, though. You, uh, you got any hobbies yourself? Hmm? Me? What? Well, well, who else am I talking to? <laughs> I mean, who doesn't have hobbies? Well, what's yours? Uh, reading, I guess. Reading isn't a hobby. Yeah, of course it's a hobby. What do you think libraries are for? Well, everyone reads. Heck, I read the paper every day. But reading isn't a part of your personality. It's just a thing people say they do when they don't have any other hobbies. That's the hottest really take I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. I knew someone who read every single day. She said she loved the smell of books, the texture of the of the pages on her fingers. She even bound books. Her hobby wasn't reading, it was books. You put too much thought into this. Well, a hobby is something you do because you're passionate about it. You can't be passionate about reading? This guy's off his friggin' rocker. I don't know who's team I'm on anymore. This is rude. If it's something you're not wholly in love with, then you're still trying to figure out what your hobby is. So, you got a problem with my passion? Well, no, 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 you said I guess. No one says I guess when they love something. Is love a requirement for a hobby? Absolutely. Love's a requirement for Okay, me. I guess. Huh. Yeah. And so you love fixing What are you, like, sticking machine? your dick in the fucking soda machine hole? That is correct. Why? It relaxes me. I just, I don't know, soda machines. It's My strange addiction? For Amanda want to fix. Don't people get paid to fix them? It is unusual, but when the missus and I would get into fights or when things was bad or I was anxious, well, I, I don't know. Well, Sadie's sister, once she passed, told me that, uh, told me that it was all right to cry, that it wasn't weakness, that it was okay, and I remember sitting there in that empty living room with everyone murmuring and telling me how sorry they were, and I didn't feel like I needed to cry. Didn't you miss her? Of course I did. Hmm. Still do, but I don't know. Not everybody needs to cry. I don't need to cry. I don't get in that way, you know? Weakness? No. I don't know what she was talking about, weakness. Crying never felt weak to me. That's just not how I am. Hmm. hmm. I can't remember the last time I cried. Yeah, maybe that movie about the boy and his dogs. It's actually like a really eloquent way to like kind of put some social commentary on like to toxic masculinity and like bo boys never cry and shit like that. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I like this tuck. This tuck's kind of cool. Oh, I'll always cry over that one. Dogs are good. Innocent. Yeah, when a dog dies, that always moves me to tears. But Josie insisted. Then she kept insisting. Then, psh, I don't know, I think she got offended I wouldn't cry as if she loved Sadie more than me. And she made me feel like I was that I was something wrong. That, that's kind of sad. Well, that wasn't true. There wasn't nothing wrong with me. I just didn't, I, I didn't, I wasn't like that. It wasn't what I needed. It wasn't how I needed to grieve. This is how I grieve. This right here. 
When I got a problem, I fix it. And when I fix it, I fix a little part of me. And I don't know how or why, but it's healing. It's a healing thing, and that's why a man's got to have a hobby. Sorry, I... No. No, it's all right. I, hmm. I figured, you know. I figured if someone's got to know, this is my quiet little hobby. A thing I do to help me work out my worries. Well, yeah. Looks like you fixed this one up real nice. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Proud of all of them. But I'm proud of this one most. Thank you for taking the time to show me. There's, uh... There's another reason I wanted to show this to you. Mm, what's that? If you want it... It's yours. <laughs> what am I gonna do with a pop machine? Well, <laughs> grab yourself a nice, refreshing drink of soda every so often, you big dummy. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't possibly. Yeah. Please. A little memento of our time again. Oh, come on, memento. Let's keep this train rolling. We can work something out. You come on back by, pick up the soda machine. Take it home with you. Or don't. If you really got no use for it, I won't be offended. I'll think it over. What's next? Hmm. That was a really cool conversation. I, I did not expect to get that invested into like what these guys were talking about so quickly. Um, where are we going? <clears throat> yeah, so like, I mean, what's gonna happen if you tell the mafia you're done? You know, you just step out of this business after 15 years. I mean, come on, they're gonna fucking kill you, obviously. So it's really interesting that he wants um, him to still take it as a memento, though. Very interesting. See you, bro. Hey, oh god, he's coming after me. No, no. Looks kind of scary, dude, honestly, when you run. <laughs> All right, yeah, there we go. Okay. Hello, little oinkers. What the fuck? A guy's got otters on his. What? Why they got. Well, pigs got penises on their chins? Little otters? I've truly never seen that before. The shovel. What's the wheelbarrow for? Hauling. Hauling what? Ass. <laughs> Manure. Ah, and what are we supposed to do with this crap? We are going to fertilize. Well, not now, it's October, but... We're gonna put it in a nice big pile where it belongs. Uh, we? Well, you did say you wanted to help. Yeah, yes I did. So help. Pick up that shovel over there. We'll shovel it in, wheel it out, dump it, and we're good. And you do this every day? Mm-hmm. Most every day. So we're making and him do the work? Keep doing this. Every day. It's my routine. Shoveling shit. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> that, uh... That isn't the first time you've told me that. Oh, yeah, makes sense. Hmm. I remember. Vietnam. Yeah. You know, I did some digging on you, personally, not the shit kind. Know what I found? Uh, I reckon you'll tell me. You went back. What happened that day in the valley? You saw the report. I'm not going to talk about it. Come on. No. Suit yourself. But you got a medal. You didn't have to go back. Had a wife and kid here. In a time where most of us were trying to figure out how to stay home. You went back. You going somewhere with this? Hmm. Think it'd be fun if you told me why? While we're shoveling shit? I was recon. You know that, I reckon. I was in the hospital, staring at the ceiling. Magazines next to me on the bed. And I... I had this, uh, moment. A moment of clarity. A revelation. Uh-huh. And the revelation was this. Them protesters weren't doing a damn thing. The, the hippies and the, the bands weren't changing anything. You know who was? The Vietnamese? The Russians? No. 
The news. You hit someone hard enough day in, day out with the realities of war, pretty soon they'll tire of it. Vietnam, that was our first time that close to war. So, uh, figured, uh, you figured you ain't the only one of us who's killed people. You, you think enough to get that job back in 74? Turned it down for the same reason I went back. They were telling us our patriotic duty was to go and fight for our country. Well, that's what I did. You weren't recon when you went back, though. Went back with a camera. Talked them into letting me help with the press, keeping them safe and all that. So I did. And I took pictures. Took all the pictures I could. I fought in a different way. Did you win? We pulled out a nap, didn't we? Mm-hmm. And now you're here. Great big war hero. Shoveling shit. Yeah. Shoveling shit. Oh, was that all I had to do? Milk the goats, feed the horse, throw horseshoes. I ain't gotta save the horseshoes for last. That sounds fun. Some extra bonding time, maybe. By the way, hello, Rikishi. Welcome. All these rocks look like mini globes to me. The greatest of all time. Oh, we're going to talk about mango? You know, back home they call you the pig farmer. That description is apt. And yet, you also have goats. I do also have goats. And a horse. And I had a dog. Tried cows once. Bill raised a newt or something, but uh, when it died. Yeah, most people have. I don't know, chickens and cows. You got goats. Hmm. Is that, uh, judgment I hear? <laughs> no judgment, no. Uh, just wondering, why goats? Goat milk. Ah, there can't be much profit in that. Mm, there's enough. Besides, I had you. Have. You still have. As I've said, I'm no longer interested in that particular revenue stream. <sighs> We're the ones who sever ties. And you don't want us severing ties. I believe I made myself clear. You know, <laughs> I feel like we've had this conversation a couple of times now. And you still don't seem to get that I'm done with this line is just going to look really silly at the end of the day. You were asking me about goats. <sighs> yeah, goats. I like them. They like to play. They'll eat just about anything. The milk's an acquired taste, but I've always liked the cheese. Meat's good with the right curry. A friend taught me that a while back. So, you like them for the utility? I like them because they're playful. Want to get started? Hmm? Started? Milking. Simple life simulator, huh? Oh, where, where are we milking, boys? Oh, hey, really? <laughs> I've always wanted to try that. Well, here's your chance. My goats are smart. They know what's up, so they'll just walk up. They come for a milking. Mm, here they are. Come on. Now they'll just take their positions here like they should. <laughs> Got feed all ready for them. Just uh, you, you take a seat there. Uh, eh, not very comfortable. <laughs> mm, suppose not. Well, now that we're seated, all you gotta do is grab and teat with your thumb and forefinger. And pull? No, 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 don't pull. Just sort of rhythmically squeeze with the rest of your fingers. Gently pushing the milk out. Ah, like this? <laughs> Just like that, yes. All you gotta do is do that till the goat's out of milk. Huh. This is kind of nice. I found it relaxing. Well, I think I could get used to this. Mm, why don't you? Say what? Why not get used to this? What, and come work with you? Sure. <laughs> yeah, some folks might take issue with that. Well, can't make everybody happy. Better than ending up shot. Shoot him? Huh? I'm extremely confused. I'm just gonna suck on this. I'm just gonna pull on the teat for a while here. It looks like static. 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's pretty good. He still wants some more? What are you looking at, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, no. gun down. Life over just like that. I usually get to shoot back. Well, <laughs> we all wind up dead in the end, don't we? I'd rather live as long as possible. What good is that? I guess you're really? a gay man. What good is living if you ain't happy? Who says I'm not happy? Well, I'm not. You could be. I don't think I could. Well... That does it for the goats. Still uh, thinking about what I've been saying? I haven't stopped. Changed your mind? No. No, I have not. Hello. Don't you own a tractor? Why does he look so chibi? What's that got to do with him? You gonna mow me over well, with it? Pigs, I guess. Goats, too. Good boy. Good oh, boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good Horse. Horses are God's most beautiful creatures. <laughs> what? You just keep a horse Take a picture with me and my horse before horses you kill me. Long on farms. Uh huh. Uh. You know, you haven't got a saddle for him, so you don't ride him. He's no racehorse. Can't eat him. What's the point? Well, I don't see the point in a farm without a horse. Gotta have a horse. Ah. Uh, and what's this about them being beautiful? Beautiful, really. Beautiful, he says. Spindly legs and bloated bellies and those weird, weird teeth. Sleep standing up. Who sleeps standing up? Something wrong with this that. guy Maybe is a horse hater. Something? Like, what's going on here? One day, one day, maybe this feller will understand. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, to me, I mean. I keep apples here because he likes them. Likes the salt lick too. Want to feed him one? Uh, nah, I'm good. Do it. He'll friggin' yank on a goat's teat, but he won't give a horse an apple? You guys got a horse phobia. Suit yourself. All right, here you go, boy. No, no, I gotta get going. Why don't you walk on out to pasture rest a spell? <laughs> Horses give me the willies. Can't see why. <laughs> Take an apple for the road. Throw horseshoes. Where the fuck did it go? Why horseshoes? Wouldn't you be like a big fan, dude? Well, why not horseshoes? Doesn't it feel stereotypical? Well, look around you. My nearest neighbor lives so oh, half a mile down the road. It ain't the city. We don't have nightclubs and pool halls to go hang out at. Pool halls? What is this, 1890? This is 1992, friend. We got shopping malls for teenagers, restaurants, clubs, whatever. But pool halls? I don't even know if they had those when I was a kid. Uh-huh. Well, time doesn't pass out here as quickly, I suppose. No need for all that, uh, uh stimulation. Ah, so you play horseshoes. Mm-hmm. Or read a good book? Develop photos you took for yourself? Go fly fishing? Well, it, it sounds idyllic. Quaint, but idyllic. And you just want to give up this home cooked paradise? Is it saying I can't choose two or three? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. That's lonely, too. It could get you a nice place in the city. Ah, never was one for crowds. Thought you said you were lonely. I'd be just as lonely in a crowd. Oh, shit. Sadie, she, uh, nobody else could really see me. Understand what I was. 
How do you figure? I, I, what? Uh, after Saigon, when I got back, this all these people were hugging their loved ones or protesting or whatever. And I, I never felt more alone in all my life. I was home. I should have been happy. And I wasn't. Well, it wasn't a popular war. You lost friends too, right? Yeah. But. No! Oh! It was dark, and there was Sadie uh. waiting for me. A porch light like a halo around her head. And I knew I wasn't alone anymore. Hmm. <laughs> so you came back to your high school sweetheart. Yeah. I, I thought. I thought he'd have married her by then. I didn't think she'd wait for me. Why not? You're a handsome guy. I bet all sorts wanted you, especially back then. Women love a man in uniform. You see that house on the hill? Uh, what, the burned out one? I always wondered what happened there. Gary Gordon. Of the Gordon family. Went to high school with us. But, uh... Well, most of us were farm folk. Sadie, her dad, was the county judge, so for us, that's pretty high society. Hmm. The Gordons owned a lot of land, and all of that passed to Gary after his ma died. In high school, he'd been our quarterback after his pa paid off the school, but ah, he wasn't a bad athlete. Good-looking guy? Oh, a real James Dean. And he had eyes for Sadie. And poor farm boy who couldn't play on the team versus the star quarterback? Shit, what kind of contest was that? Hey, who wouldn't want all this? <laughs> and yet, when I came home, there she was. Where was Gary? He served too? Ah, oh, Gary was too rich to serve. Star quarterback had some health exemption. Didn't get drafted. Uh-huh. Uh, so then, where was he? Running his dad's business. Trying to win her heart. <laughs> didn't work. Well, she invited him to the wedding. I didn't want him there, but, well, you know Sadie. Uh-huh. Well, the Gordons own most of the property around here, including the 200 acres surrounding that hill. Right. And he built a house. A house? W wait, that house? The very same. Looks like it was a mansion. It was. Why'd he build it? Ah, I don't know. To remind her what she'd given up, maybe. So, what happened to the wealthy Gary Gordon and his mansion? Well, he built it one year. Must have been 1966 or so. And he went inside and he just disappeared. Then one night, about a year later, there was a storm and boom. No more Gary Gordon. No more Gary Gordon. Huh. Maybe he was lonely, too. Maybe. Yeah. All right, you win. What next? Dude, the restraint on this man to, to only admit that he lost the game after our conversation was fully over? Damn, dude. Even saved, like, the emotion. Do you know what this is? A uh, tree? <laughs> well, have you ever seen a tree like it? A, a tree's a tree. Remember all them roasted chestnuts at Christmas? Oh, sure, sure. I mean, I kind of figured. Been by often enough to see the chestnuts myself. Why? Is it special to you? This is an American... This guy just isn't connected to anything. Oh, hey, Saul. Uh, he's telling us about... Oh, American Jesus chestnuts. Christ. American, huh? Thought they all died. What? <laughs> you remembered. Pays to remember things. Like the American chestnut. Um, I, I, I'm a little lost here. Oh, a couple weeks back, Saul came by, said you couldn't make it. Business as usual. Saul so had a bucket of chestnuts, asked if pigs could eat them, so we got to talking and I told him about chestnuts. Uh-huh. And what did you learn? Pork tastes better with chestnuts. And most American chestnuts have died off. It's true. Long before you were out, such born, a little bitch voice compared to his was prized for the model. quality of its wood. Jimmy'd like that. Oh, that he would, that he would. Chestnuts go better with pork. There ain't many like it left. 
American chestnuts almost all died out because of the Asian fungus around 1900 or so. The chestnut blight. That's what, like a couple hundred thousand trees? Oh, billions. Four billion trees snuffed out practically overnight. Like nobody was like, yo, turn the options down, like maybe four levels? Places like West Virginia. Yo, those I love those uh, chestnuts with the pork. I thought West Virginia was coal country. Logging, too, before it all died off. Now there's trees like the General here making nuts year-round. And I feed them to the Reds, and they grow nice and fat and tasty. Seems lonely. Uh, it is lonely. Heartbreakingly lonely. To know everyone else you ever loved has passed on. So, I look after him, and he looks after me. And I don't know. Sadie and I, we... We talked about being buried here, you know. Changed your mind? Mm. Brody's grave was enough for me. But, uh, I don't know. I thought about having him moved. I don't, uh, I don't know. You've got plenty of years left in you yet. So, what's the moral of the story? With the, the trees, I mean. Be wary of outsiders. Heck no. There are trees out there that are blight resistant. Maybe even the general here, but I'm too afraid to find out. With enough time and horticultural understanding, we could have done something. Preserved all these trees? Maybe we could have. They are magnificent. It's just... It's just that... I don't know. I wasn't trying to teach you a lesson or anything. I just... Well, you sad. did make a point of it. I did do that. I just... It's a part of me is all. God willing to live for a hundred more years. I'm... I don't know. I see myself as a custodian of sorts. And one day I'm... I just... So go ahead and wait for me at the van. Hmm? Look at me. You're thinking about dying. Thinking you can pass this responsibility off to someone else. You don't have to do this. Give the tree another decade of your time. Well, the time of my demise is sad. Someone ought to know about the tree. Jimmy'd love to know about this. Well, oh, Jimmy would cut it down. <laughs> he would. Please. Don't tell him. Hey, I'm good at keeping secrets, but Jimmy's Jimmy. Please, let me rest here. And if there's a way, a way to, oh, I don't know. Okay, okay. Hey, you got more to show me, right? The garage, huh? No tour would be complete without the garage. I have to ask, why a sports truck? I think they're called coupe utility, but, uh, you mean why not a sports car? Yeah, I mean, I always figured you'd have a midlife crisis like the rest of us. Sports car, motorcycle, an affair, something like that. Couldn't really say why I love these so much. Saw Bye. mine one day, fell in love. With that? Mm-hmm. I had to bring her home with me. I'll admit, it has a charm to it. But she won't run. No? Well, pop the hood. Let's take a look. You're serious? Sure. Already had my midlife crisis. <laughs> Motorcycle? Sports car. And these puppies, well, you know, they're similar enough. Some of them even use the same engine. We can figure this out. All right. Which one is the driver's side? I don't know. I don't know where we're living in this world. What is happening? Now, let's see here. Can you get me that drop light? My eyes aren't what they were. Yo, um... Sorry, I've... 
my dad always wanted to teach me this type of stuff. You're just gonna have to bear with me, man. Uh, this is not the drop light. It's literally a light that is dropped. This is... I don't. I'm sorry, man. Just hold on. <laughs> Here, you just you want this? He doesn't want that. How do I get the drop light? Oh, aha. I don't know why it worked all of a sudden. Here you go. Here. Bro, take it, bro. Sure thing. Jesus. Thank you. Saul's a good kid. <laughs> hmm? What's that? Saul was a good kid. I like him. It was nice him coming by. Yeah? That's good to hear. Never met anyone with so much promise. Never? In my entire life. Saul's dad was a good man. Didn't think his kid had it. As a boy, he was too soft. But then he got older, graduated college, really came into his own. Eager. More capable than he knows. Hmm. Great listener. Can you believe we were his age once? <laughs> Hard to admit. When I was young, I thought I knew everything. Yeah? And now? Today, I learned from you and him about chestnuts. Well, I learned something new every day, I suppose. You check the spark plugs? Mm, give me a second. Uh, what about your boy? Bill? Oh, he's fine, I guess. <laughs> you guess? Hey, how old is he again? Mm, born in 60, so, uh... 32, as of September. Huh. Roy would have been about his age. Yeah? Yeah. Well, uh, what's this about you and Bill? Oh, he don't want to talk to me no more. What? Bill? Toe-headed little guy? Always friendly and outgoing? That Bill? It's, uh... It's about Sadie. Ah. Yeah. Hey, mind if I ask you a completely unrelated question? Hmm? What's with the airplanes at your neighbor's place? Oh, Chuck's farm. Chuck, huh. Yeah, what's with all the planes? There's no runway around here. Uh, you know how farmers are. Hey, have you checked the air filter? Yeah. And, yeah, I know how you are. You got plenty of junk, too. But uh, I've never seen anyone else with, uh, uh, what are they, World Little War Little PSA, if you own a car, check your air filter. You'll be surprised how dirty that fucking thing is. Nope. You're breathing in... You got gross no AIDS air in your car every day. Is, have you? Yeah. I also yeah, do know how to check my spark plug. Yeah, I, I actually cannot believe I'm kind of following what they're talking the about. It was like the two things I've learned East ever America about ever cars. <laughs> Took two train tankers to fill one up. And you could fly from Monday to Thursday without refueling. So why does Chuck have one in his backyard, plus all the others? Asked him about that once. Hmm. Okay. Wires loose here. Where? Right there. So, what'd he say? Oh, uh... <laughs> dead navigator came to him in a dream. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Dead navigator from the Korean War came to him in a dream, said the planes were in danger of being lost, and it was up to Chuck to save them. So, Chuck's crazy. <laughs> well, eccentric, maybe, but, uh... Do you believe in ghosts? If I did, I'd have a different job. <laughs> Why, do you? Well, I figure we all move on in some way. Energy is neither created nor lost and all that. So you're saying a dead navigator came to a farmer in the middle of nowhere, no offense, and told him that it was his job to preserve airplanes? Yep. So now there's a bunch of planes on a crazy coots farm. And he keeps them safe. Can you think of a better place for him to be? Hmm. No. Want to try running it? Damn, we just schooled that guy. He thought he had the one-up in that conversation. Roasted his ass at the end. That's right. Right. No better place for those damn planes. Don't matter what made him do it. I, I trust you. Nah. I trust you. Uh, suit yourself. Where to next? I don't know, bro.
Shotguns, huh? Blanked? Still do. I like revolvers myself. When it's for sport. Got a few of those. Oh yeah, what's your favorite? Them big slab sided ones. They have a a charisma. What about you? Ah, uh, nothing special really. 357s when I can. But this is a shotgun. Yep. Figured we could shoot some skeet. Always like shooting skeet. Taught Bill to shoot this way. You're a good father. Couldn't have been better. <laughs> Name a father that couldn't. So, how do we do this? Uh, who's going first? I'll go first. All right, then. <laughs> this is more my speed. Hanging out, shooting guns. Maybe a few beers next time. I'm not sure guns and beers mix, friend. Oh, sure they do. Like peanut butter and very dangerous chocolate. Next time. Trust me, next time. And there isn't going to be a next time. There's always a next time. <laughs> this is it. After today, we are done. I've tried to tell you. I keep trying to tell you. There is no out. There is no done. You keep doing this. You can never do anything again. Permanent. Kaput. Then it's kaput. You don't mean it. If that's the way it's got to be. You have a choice. You haven't listened to a word I've said. I've been listening. I've been listening all morning. I've been listening to you talk about being sad and lonely and refusing to listen to reason. I have my reasons. Your reasons aren't any good. But they're mine. Walk me to my car. Uh, it just seems like you're a little bit of a baby, honestly. It just seems like you're being a little bit of a baby about the whole situation. Uh, I mean, I don't know. So, this is it then. It is. Why? Why are you doing this? Because I need to. We're friends, goddammit. You don't get to get all stoic on me. I know losing her was hard, but there's got to be something. Got to be. I can't take care of the farm like I used to. There isn't much point anymore. So sell the farm. Move into the city. Meet someone new. Do you... Believe in hell. What? Do you believe in hell? I'm not scared of hell, if that's what you mean. I didn't ask if you were scared. I asked if you believe. I don't know. Well, I do. And I think... I think doing this... I think that's where I'm headed. And why? You think you can buy your way into heaven? I can't take back what I've done. What I can do is do something right. Why? Because I want to see her again. That's all. I just want to see her again. And I figure I'll do one right thing with my life. Just one thing. Maybe I'll get to see her again. One more time. And this is your one right thing. It is. How do you know? How do you know if any of this is true? I don't know. But I got the notion, and the notion's got me. So, the least I can do is uh, tell you adios. Just like that. But what else is there to say? Much, I guess. No. All right, then. Have it your way. I'll be back this evening. You get an afternoon. Do whatever you gotta do. I'll just, uh, leave the door unlocked. I can do that. Adios, friendo. Be seeing ya. I really didn't know if we were going to get to see more after that. Okay.
Well, we're home alone. Wow, we can even go outside. Not that there's uh, much to do, but... Wow. Let's see how far I can walk out. Really? Oh, okay, I guess everything's probably gated off. But wow, you get full access, basically. Man, yeah, imagine if I did just run up to this and the gates opened and then all of a sudden the, you know, game took control of me. Just played a cutscene of me running away. It really would be an option. It wouldn't really make sense, but... Maybe we can go into the shed, grab a shotgun, Rambo ending. We sit there in our house with the shotgun until the guy comes back mid-afternoon. We already know that they're going to expect the door unlocked to where we're going to be sitting. Just fucking blast his ass. Oh. There is something out there. I mean, I see we probably have to do this anyway, but let's see what's up over here. Well, the horse part two? All right. Come on now. Come on now. Bad boy. Come on. No. More. Brung you an apple. Granny Smith. Just like you. This is not a Granny good Smith. Boy. Good boy. You've been real good to me. You know that? Mm-hmm. Brought me a lot. Good times. Without you, I, I don't. Uh, yeah, I do not know. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for all you've done. Gonna go ahead and leave the barn door open behind me when I go. Oh, you want to leave? You go find someone else. Catch the fish, call the boy, call the neighbor. Huh. Can I go up here? Hmm. Huh. What do you know? I don't think I can open the gates right now. I, I, I think... He said, when I leave, when I'm done, I'm opening the door. I, I don't think I actually can right now. I think it's like, uh, it'll happen naturally. I'm not really seeing an option. Unless it's this? No. How can I catch the fish? What the hell is this? I mean, that's actually pretty obvious what it is. I mean, it's just, it's just a bunker. Whoa. I'm surprised with how linear the game is, it's all of a sudden like, yeah, just, uh, you can literally do anything. Like, what if I can, like, pick up the horseshoes and just throw them around again? There is our victory hoof. Yeah, where's that gun, though? I don't know. It seems like I can't really do anything else. Let's go. fishing pole is uh with all of my guns but okay dude i cannot even see that am 
am I supposed to be able to see that, bro? This is the hardest fishing game I've ever seen. Oh! Big Lonky. That's the core? Catch Admiral this time. It's so hard to see. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Alright, over here. This is where General Admiral is here. This is right over here. Next to the rocks. He likes rocks. Come on. Oh, don't do that. What? Come on. Oh, 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 do not do that. What the fuck? Come on. I'll tease you. <laughs> Where is Admiral? Blind. Come on. This <laughs> scared me. <laughs> Alright, I'll sit in the chair for good luck for Admiral. Oh, he's a tough one. It's got to be Admiral. <laughs> what? Ooh, nice catch. Oh my god. I guess that was Admiral. I expected him to be like a different fish. <laughs> it's just the same fish, but a big lonker. Call the boy. Call the boy. Oh, do we have to like walk all the way back? Oh. Did I have just walked that direction the whole time? Huh. Hello. Okay, so now we have to find our phone, I guess. There's no, like, tips, though, which is kind of weird. Pretty quaint little house. Rooms are all pretty small. Whoa! What the hell? Jump scare game. My god, amazing shower, though. Dude, am I like an idiot? Where the hell is the phone?
you know his name? Caller ID. I, I don't know what that is. It's I don't know why his voice is so quiet right Tell now, but just read the subtitles. That's, uh, that's some real fancy stuff you got there. Uh-huh. Oh, Dad Listen, trying to connect I'm busy. on his last call. Why are you calling? fault is that? Jesus. I, well, can't we just, you know, can't we talk? What is there to say? Hi, son. How are the grandkids? How are they? Oh, by the way, I put your mom in a rest home so I could stay there and take care of my goats and my pigs and my stupid horse because, God forbid, I actually look after my sick wife. That's not fair. You put her in a home. You decided she wasn't good enough for you, and you put her in a home. I, I, no, I, I didn't know what to do. The doctor there, they would. How hard could it be? Alzheimer's isn't some terrifying boogeyman. It wasn't it you who told me to stay with the ones you love, no matter what. So, what? You didn't love her anymore? Well, it was there. You gave her up. You gave her up to doctors and nurses. You know what they do to people in homes. It was the best home money could buy. Money. You and your damn money. You cared more about being a rich pig farmer than the people you were supposed to love. Hey. I loved you both. I did everything for you. Everything. Yeah, right. Still. I, I didn't want this call to... You wanted to put my mom in a home. So I'm not sure what you want matters. B B Bill, Bill I, just, I just called to say... Say what? Sorry? Did you know I visited her? I found out where you put her, and I visited her. Uh, they said you visited sometimes. She was my wife, Bill. She cried, Dad. She cried. She wept, and she sobbed, and she kept asking me where you were. She was so scared, Dad. She was so scared. She wanted you to take her home. The doctor said sometimes she was lucid, but I couldn't. She was lucid, Dad. And I held her hand as she sobbed herself to sleep. And I kept holding her hand until they told me I had to go. Where were you? Taking care of your precious chestnuts? Feeding your heritage breed pigs? Oh, no, Bill, Bill, I... Save it. Talk to your goats or your pigs or whatever it is you do. I just wanted to tell you goodbye, Bill. Some of your stuff all boxed up. If you wouldn't mind coming by in a few days to pick it up. We'll see. Goodbye, son. You'll never make this right, Dad. I hope you'll try. Damn. Listen, uh, I don't mean to interrupt. It's just uh, uh, I'm on a tight schedule, and uh, uh, I need you to do me a favor, all right? A favor? Sure. What you need? Uh, I'm going to be out of town for a few days. Oh? Finally taking my advice and visiting family? <laughs> I was uh, wondering if you and Garth could make sure the animals were fed and watered, you know, that kind of thing. Sure, sure. We ain't got much going on. Thanks, Edie. Listen, uh, I, uh... Oh. Evan! Evan! What are you doing? Get down from there. Sorry. Cats. <laughs> anyway, what were you saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, the animals. Uh, 
I got them fed and watered for today. They should be good for tomorrow, too. B but if it's too much of an imposition... Not at all. Not at all. We're happy to be imposed upon. You've been a good neighbor for so long. I'm glad you've called me today. In fact, just the other day, I said to Garth, I said, if we don't visit, then we should host. Reach out, say hello, put together a little neighborly get-together. And you know what he said? He said, well, Edie, if we did that, we'd just... Thank you, Edie. Oh, hey, you should drop on by next Saturday afternoon. We're going out to the Harvest Festival with the grandkids, and I know how lonely it's been, what with Sadie gone and all. You should come with us. Oh, I appreciate the thought, Edie. I don't think I'll be back in town by then, though. Sorry. Oh, that's too bad. It's been real nice seeing you coming back to church again. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, uh... It's been real nice being welcomed back. But now I gotta go. You know, chores and such. You know how it is. Oh, I sure do. Well, come on over sometime. Just got some gooseberries in. We're making pies, and we'd love to have you. I know they're your favorite. <laughs> that they are. Gotta go now. See ya. Damn, Bill and Edith, I feel like are such strong character archetypes. Those conversations felt so real. Hey, you Brody. How you been? I know I don't drop by as much as I ought. I ain't got an excuse. We had some good times, Brody. I remember Doug coming over. Remarking on your coat said you didn't need no training. He'd put you with his bird dogs and you'd figure out what to do Well, he was right you came a waddling over out of that lake duck in your mouth proud as everything You wouldn't give that duck up But you got the hang of it uh, uh, Doug and I we Had a falling out I Haven't spoken to him since Well, he, he passed so no point reminiscing, I guess. You want to know something, Brody? I always... I always believe dogs go to heaven, because all dogs is fundamentally good. Even the mean ones, they're good too. They're just, you know, hurt or starving or, you know, sick or scared. So, uh... I know where you are. And I know Sadie's probably with you right now. I done wrong, Brody. I done a lot of wrong. And I don't know if I can make up for it. I want to tell you I'll see you soon, but... The truth is, I do not know. I don't know if I was good enough for you. Or her. I don't know if I did my best. So, uh... This may be goodbye. Hmm. I love you. And I miss you all the same. Tells me to get the shotgun first, which I thought was incredibly kind of off-putting, but I, I guess we're cooking the meal first. I don't want to make food. <laughs> oh my god, this looks like so much work. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. It's it. You pick one of them, dude. I thought I had to do all of this. Um. Well, I guess let's just do steak. No, I do like curry. Fine, I'll do the curry. It's got to be a good last meal. Steak, chop, cook. Okay. Oh 
Oh my god, oh, gross, dude. How do I... Is that really what I'm supposed to do? All right. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, stock. Cornies. Curry powder. Hot, mild, medium. Yeah, you know, we're we're going out blazing. Listen, but we're we're gonna be dead by the time this shit passes through us. So they they may come up to a pretty messy situation, but uh, but we don't gotta deal with that. Um, potato chop too. All right, I'm excited for this one. <laughs> God, it gets me every time. All right. Oh! What a great place to store a knife. Carrot chop four. Oh my God. All right, let's throw them all on. Is it onion too? All right. Gaming. Right on the mat where it belongs. Uh, okay. Wait, do I really have to make all of these? No, we only had one steak. What do we do now? Okay. Bro, really? That looks good enough, I guess. Imagine having that little care for a beautiful meal you just crafted for yourself. Um, really thought I was gonna blast the door open. Goop. What? How was it wrong? Oh, I didn't put the steak. Oh, I didn't put the steak on the pan. I just thought, it's a hot pot, dude. You just put it in there and let it cook for like six hours. Oh, fuck. I wasn't thinking. Shit. Dude, and all the others require steak as well. I can't even make a new meal. Oh my god, bad end. <laughs> but why? Bro, what the fuck is going on? Oh my god. I... I don't... Place the shotgun at the dining room table setting. All right. Done. Do I like need a fork or something? Oh my god. So particular this man is. This is where I ate with my friend though. Just assumed I want to take the knife with me. It doesn't even matter if that thing touches the floor anymore.
Why do I look so small? Come on, bro. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. Just give me that. I just needed like 10 more minutes. Uh... Whatever, bro. Whatever. No, that was adios. That was indeed a silent pistol. We got got. It's pretty graphic as well. God damn, yeah. Hmm. Well, I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed playing through it. Was it uh, something that will like deeply resonate with you and change your life? Probably not. But, you know, I think, uh, I think it kind of at least, you know, hit the points it wanted to hit. And, uh, and some of it was really interesting and, uh, you know, somewhat powerful. Not bad. Not bad. Worth an hour. Definitely worth an hour. I give it a... Um, you know. Strong six, light seven. It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. God, those pigs are thick as fuck. What the fuck? Damn. 